Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. Oh my gosh, I have like an epic haul for you guys today. Like when I think that I just can't do any better and I'm not gonna have any better luck, I luck out. I can't wait to share with you the plants that I've got today. <sighs> Went to a couple local nurseries as well as a big box store and I'm just thrilled with the selection that I've got to share with you today. I think you'll see some new plants that maybe you've never seen before and um, just kind of get some ideas about other things you might be able to put in your garden. So if you're enjoying my channel, please give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe, even hit the notification bell to get notified anytime a new video comes out. All right, let's get started, guys. The first store that I stopped at was a local nursery called Banatas. I love that place. I get all sorts of interesting things there. They have some artisan type stuff. They have very unique plants. So one of the first tables that I always like to go to there is actually they have multiple ones where they sell these four inch pots and um, they were on sale. So instead of being like $4.25 or something like that a piece, they're $3.75. So, um, you may recognize this one, um, but I wanted to get some additional ground covers to try, and this one is super cute. And um, I'm going to show you these plants, but I'm also going to show you at the end of the video um, each of the tags and the information about the plant along with a picture. Um, so this one is a ground cover. It is uh, it enjoys being in moist but well draining soil and it's hardy in zones 4 to 10. And so this would be even good for those of you who live in a really warm climate. And I was super excited because it has my name on the back of the tag. It says sun or part shade. It says soleil or mi ombre. So anyways, I like that a lot. This is Platt's Black Brass Button, Leptinella squalida. So we're going to give that one a try. I like it. And then to kind of offset that dark color, I got this ground cover, which is very silvery. And so it is a very nice contrast uh, to that. This is a woolly speedwell. And so this is in the Veronica family. And it is, let's see, hardy in zones four to nine so also good for colder climates and warmer climates and um, it does have spikes of violet flowers just like um, other speed wells might but it stays really small it grows for uh, excuse me it grows 12 to 18 inches tall so not super tall and um, it's really going to be nice for edging or for borders so I'm interested to see how this grows in full sun to part shade Okay, the next ground cover that I got, I think is probably my favorite. Check this out. It has the most cool foliage because it's very like a silvery green on top, but then the undersides are like a burgundy purple, and then it even has a pretty little flower on it, and this is a viola. It's called Silver Gem, and it grows in part shade to shade. So um, I'm excited about being able to use this one in my woodland garden. And it's the Viola Walter, Walteri, Walteri. Um, anyways, like I said, we'll put the tags at the end so you can see how it's spelled and take a look at it. Um, this one is as tall as it gets. This is exactly what it looks like. And um, it does like moist soil and it grows in zones five to eight. So um, this is as tall as it gets. But as you can see, it sends out some runners. And this is a native as well. So I'm excited about that. I love any time I can grow a native plant. One other ground cover that I got there as well is this bugle weed, which is new to me. It looks like it's got a dandelion in it. But this bugle weed or a juga is called cordial canary. So this is very different from any of the ones that I have because mine are much darker colors. So I think this will be a really nice pop under some of the darker colored plants. And this one, um, let's see, it does blue, it has bl blue flowers, it does blue, it does bloom, it has blue flowers, and um, it does um, grow also in zones four to nine. So this should be really nice, very hardy, and uh, incredibly tough, but also beautiful. 
All right. Then I also got this one, which was on 50% off because the foliage is not looking so great. Um, it's got a little bit of black spot on it, I think. Uh, but it'll be fine because it's a geranium. Um, this is a Cranesville. It's called Crystal Rose. And this is good in sun to part shade. And the reason why I like it is because it's a different color than most of the geraniums I have that are hardy. And in addition to that, it is um, smaller. So it grows to a height of 12 inches, which is nice. So about up to here and um, again, sun to part shade. So lots of different opportunities to grow this in. And already the new, um, the new foliage that is coming out does not have the black spots on it, but it's also probably done blooming for the season, but um, I'll be happy to get it in the ground with plenty of time for its roots to acclimate. So again, the geranium crystal rose, this one was $14.99 and it was half off. I find that some of the local nurseries prices are typically a little higher than those at the big box store, but you also find some things that you just can't get um, in terms of varieties or cultivars because sometimes they grow their own or they have relationships with growers um, that grow very unique flowers. Now this one is also a native. Um, you might recognize this. A lot of people like to grow uh, Monarda. And this is actually the wild bergamot. And so people use this um, in bergamot tea. Uh, it smells absolutely amazing. And it has a very light uh, pink lavender-ish type flower. And it has probably already bloomed this year, but maybe not because it was grown in such a small pot. You can see um, it is definitely very root bound. Um, a lot of these are, which is why they're on sale right now, because being in four inch pots in this part of summer, they have just um, maxed out. So this grows in sun or part sun, and it is also a very hardy plant. It is hardy down to zone three and up to zone nine. So it has a very wide range of growing. It does like uh, water, but it doesn't like to be watered overhead because if you water from the top down on this, it can tend to get powdery mildew. So you wanna plant it in a place that has moist soil or water um, from uh, down at the base of the plant. It grows two to four feet tall by two to three feet wide, and it blooms in midsummer to fall. So perhaps this one hasn't bloomed yet, actually. So I'm looking forward to getting this one in the ground so it can start to spread its roots out. These do tend to creep by rhizomes. It's not a clumping plant. So you just have to plant it in a place where you're comfortable with it spreading some or be able to, you know, dig out some of the runners if you want, but it is not invasive. So after I left that nursery, um, I ended up picking up some candy for my son for tagging along with me. And then I wanted to step over at Lowe's um, just to check and see what they had in stock at a different one because I was close by. And when I did, I was shocked to see that they had all of their shrubs, annuals, and like ground covers on 50% off. So a lot of the perennial uh, herbaceous perennials were not on sale, but almost the entire stock was. So maybe go and check at your local Lowe's and see what they've got on clearance right now because it's amazing. There's a lot of healthy plants. Um, I was excited about this. I have gotten this geranium before. This is one that I couldn't remember the name of. So um, not only am I excited about the fact that I was able to get more of it for a good deal, but also that I now um, know the name of it. So this is a super cute ground cover. And I got a flat of 10. They're, um, they're originally $4.48, so for around $2.25. These are Bishop's Rock Form excuse me, Bishop's Form Rock Geranium. So they're very small, they grow in full sun. Uh, the one that I have right now is not in full sun, but this would be a lovely uh, ground cover with such beautiful dainty flowers. And this grows down to, um, I wanna say zone three, down to negative 40. And it gets about three to four inches tall. So it's not gonna get much taller than this. Um, it might stretch a little bit if you have it in part sun in, instead of uh, having it in full sun. 
and it will bloom spring, summer, and fall. So it just keeps going, which is super nice if you like to see flowers. So I'm excited about that one. Now, one plant that I've been meaning to try, but it just seems so expensive to try, and I'm not too sure about whether I actually like it or not, and I'm trying to decide because it's very much like a pulmonaria, but this is, um, this is Brunnera, and uh, this one is the Jack Frost variety, which is a very popular variety. Um, it, it has flowers on it that remind me of for, forget-me-nots. They're very light blue and kind of foamy. And the texture on the leaves is also very um, hairy. And so rabbits and deer don't like it, just like the, um, just like the lungwort, the, the pulmonaria. It, they don't like to eat these leaves because they don't feel very good on their tongues. Anyways, this one was um, $17, so I got it half off. Um, and it looks pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna give it a try. So we'll see whether I like it or not. And yeah, it's worth it, right? How many of you grow Brunnera? And what variety do you grow? And what do you like the most about it? I'm interested to hear. Okay, then I did get some annuals because like I told you before, I've been looking for some annuals. Um, some of them weren't looking so good, so I went for the ones that actually were. And these are some lantanas. Um, they're very colorful plants. They have a very colorful flower anyways. And these are called Bandana Cherry Sunrise Lantana. And these go in full sun. And um, I'm going to put these out in my front bed where I have some just open space right now that's not really blooming. Um, because I didn't have very many annuals and there haven't been many on sale. So these were $8.98 and they were half off. So about $4.50 each for a really uh, good size. These are about a two and a half quart uh, container. So I got two of these and um, I think they're gonna look really, really nice. And they'll get quite big. They, um, they grow up to two feet tall and two feet wide. And they bloom in summer and fall, so it's perfect timing still to get these in the ground. And they are um, hardy down to 32 degrees, so they'll make it right up until it starts to frost. So um, a, a few more months. And um, these also have a very textured leaf, so um, deer don't really like them either. Okay, and then I got a couple of Pieras, which um, I'm also excited about because these are evergreen. And you can tell these bloomed. They didn't have a whole lot of uh, pollination on the blooms this spring, so there's very few berries um, on them. But these are evergreen, and um, these will actually get uh, five feet tall by five feet wide. Now, you can prune these to keep them smaller. Um, and so I think that's probably um, what I will do, but I really like the way that these look. They're kind of like a lily of the valley tree. This is called Valley Rose Pieris. And uh, we'll put the tag up, like I said, it has a really light um, pink kind of um, draping flower that has very small blooms on it. And it's good in part sun, three to six hours of morning sun is ideal. And as I said, it blooms in the spring. And these are hardy down to zone four. And let me see if there's anything else that I need to tell you about this one. I guess I would just say this one was about $9. And so for half off, I got two of these for $9. You can see that this one had a lot more um, pollinating action on it so it actually does have some really cute berries on it okay and I've been saving um, the best for last I think maybe I don't know I'm just this has been a really really great plant haul you guys I just I don't know if I need any more plants did I just say that out loud I don't think that's probably true but maybe I don't need them but I want them I'm sure anyhow I got some hydrangeas, you guys, um, and I'm super excited about this because I was looking for some smaller shrubs that I still wanted to tuck into my front bed near my blue muffin, blue muffin viburnums. Um, and so 
I'm not sure which ones it's going to be yet, but <clears throat> I got two Bobo Hydrangeas. Um, Bobo Hydrangeas are awesome because they stay a little smaller than some of the other uh, Paniculata Hydrangeas. These like full sun. Um, this is the two gallon one. It's normally $24.98, but you guys, I got them for $12.50. And um, they still haven't bloomed yet this year. They just have buds on them. So I'm going to get to enjoy them even. A lot of times you can't get these on clearance until like October when they're the last things on the shelf and they've bloomed and they look horrible. Um, but these are hardy down to zone 3, up to zone 8. And um, they're 2.5 to 3 feet tall and 3 to 4 feet wide. Um, and you can prune these every year to keep some um, some smaller size to them. So they're probably the ones that are going to go out in the front bed. Um, but I do have options. Um, I got two of these, again, um, because I just love the idea of having the matching pair. I think I have a couple of branches that may have broke off. Um, but they look so healthy. I mean, what a great buy. And then this is my other option, you guys. You know I have a little lime that's on my deck. I have a little lime hydrangea on my deck, and so I have two of these now, so that's my other option. Um, this little lime, though, is, um, let me see here, it will get three to five feet tall and wide, so these are a little bit bigger, so I'm kind of thinking maybe um, I'll stick with the bobos out front. Anyhow, um, this is also hardy in zones three to eight so you can grow it um, really cold and also quite warm and again it likes full sun pretty much the same growing conditions as the other pinnacle hydrangeas but it's so beautiful right now i mean for 1250 you guys 1250 i get this and i get to enjoy it for months still what an amazing plant haul that's all that i have to say um, if, if many of you were um, around, I would buy these plants for you and send them to you if I could. <laughs> um, but I have a feeling the shipping would cost more than the plant. <sighs> well, I hope you guys are having a good summer and that you're finding some good deals as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're growing any of these plants, how you like them, or if you found some amazing deals in your area. Okay, here's the tags. Take a look if you want some more information on them because they're really beautiful plants and I'm looking forward to getting them in my yard. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye!